set you both well. I'm loving the show so far. I'm sure you've heard that. Thank you so much. Thank you. What episode are you on? Uh, I've only seen the first two. I'm, okay. I'm a quite a switcher. I don't. I, I like to take my time in the show. I'm not All a big right. No I'm rush. Not. No rush. No <laughs> rush. <laughs> I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's one of those. What do they call it? Like elevator pitches, where when someone describes a show to you, your instant reaction is just, "Oh yes, I like the sound of that." When this was first described to you, was your reaction, "Oh yes, I quite like the sound of that." Yeah, for me, it was pretty immediate just mm. because I had been such a fan of Sonny's and Stevens for so long. Um, I just hadn't, even though we all worked together on Tuca and Birdie, we really didn't work together in a very intimate way. I never recorded with Steven in a booth. We've never been on camera together. Um, I think I had had one conversation with Sonny, and so when you, you know, work with people on film and TV, it's it's so, you're, it's not just the development and the shooting, but it's like also doing all this press afterwards. You spend a lot of time with these people, and so I was like, Yes, these are people who I'd love to spend a lot of time with, who have incredible taste, who are always really grounded people, but they're always drawn to doing something that they've never seen or heard before that feels honest. And so it was really like the people first for me, and then the the story was secondary, <laughs> just because I had so much trust in them, you know? I mean, if you look at Steven and everything he's done, I don't think he has like a single, ooh, I don't want to make people go mining for it now, but I don't think he has a single dud. He always chooses duds. like great pro projects. I got duds. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how far do you guys uh, back, do you guys go then? Have you, have you guys known each other a while and do you remember when you first met? Um, I reached out to Ali after I saw her brilliant stand-up special, Baby Cobra. It was and in I was 2016. Just, yeah, I remember just being like, whoa whoa and i was like i don't even do i don't even reach out i'm just like that was incredible i don't even remember what i said i'm gonna go dig back yeah, it was on twitter but, yeah it was on twitter yeah. but um you know uh i've just always admired ali like someone like she's just holding it down like she's just so ali <laughs> and that's like amazing and so um yeah getting to work with her has has kind of been even greater because I get to know you even deeper, and I think like it makes sense why it makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> are you guys in any way kind of petty, a bit like the characters are? Do you hold grudges and let them kind of consume you? Or are you quite good at letting things go? I'm not like that. So like, if I get wound up about something, I have to mm. address it right away, and then and then I release it, mm. or I try to. I think when you have resentment is when you hold things in, and that's something Amy certainly does, and that's something that's like very different from me. I don't. I try. I try to release as much as possible and not keep it all in. I'm similar. I, I like to kind of just get it out and like let it go. But um, if I don't get a chance to let it go, I can go there. But I don't get really petty. I just really like try to get it out of my body as fast as I can. Um, I get really petty. Drives my wife mad. <laughs> <laughs> think like in a way when you have a kind of fight with someone be it a stranger or a friend can it eventually kind of lead to a sort of different sort of closeness it can be quite kind of intimate because if I ever get into like a debate on a football pitch with an opposition player weirdly afterwards they're always the one most likely I go for a drink with because you've yeah. kind of broken for a social barrier yeah yeah you see the other person a little clearer and like you're being vulnerable with each other fighting is a vulnerable thing like you're getting to see stuff that you are not you don't normally show people at all. You're losing control. Yeah, like yeah, when you yeah, raise your yeah, voice, that's yeah. such an ugly thing yeah. to reveal. And if you roll your eyes or anything like that, like yeah. that is those are such yeah. ugly expressions and like to reveal. And if someone is still there to talk to you after that, it's so intimate. Yeah. Yeah. You've just been so vulnerable with each other. That's pretty cool. Do you find it quite a vulnerable emotion then to show as actors on screen? Because, I mean, there's so many different emotions, you know, be it sort of like feeling scared or feeling happier. But in terms of feeling angry, how do you find that on set when you kind of have to let your character be loose in that way? Mm. It's It can be fun. It can be exhausting. Um, uh, you know. Um, I mean, physically, you lost your voice a couple times, didn't you? Oh, a bunch of times, you? yeah. I lost my voice a bunch I think of about times. that all the time now because I'm just like so careful with my voice and I think yeah. about that time and like you just kept talking. Yeah, I just You just yeah. have to keep doing the scenes when you lost. <laughs> yeah. That's bad. Bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
because yeah. I did think it because of course I mean I'm, you know the ca- characters are kind of this kind of constant state of kind of anger I just want that must have been quite exhausting did you have to book a kind of retreat or a, like a, just a massage afterwards or something we should have yeah we should have <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah totally yeah. totally yeah just a detox was certainly necessary um but also like the thing itself is is you're getting you know life is life is weird because you get to work and do this and then you get to come home and like not have to do all like not that you're doing that at home but like not have to like touch that emotional state anymore so um uh yeah it's it's all the things Because um, Ali, I was going to ask, like many kind of stand-up comedians, your comedy is very kind of personal, and you kind of bear uh, a lot of yourself kind of on stage in a kind of brilliant way. I was wondering, is it a different experience when promoting something new that you've created, like Beef, that's sort of out there in the world, when you're doing so via a character that's been written rather than as yourself? Is the character almost like a, a shield in some ways? Well, I would. I mean, I would say even with my stand-up, what people don't realize is that it that is still an abstraction of, you know, and like a. Of, of 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 who I am, and same thing with uh, this project too. I think what's, I mean, what's really different about this is to just be doing this with friends. When stand up, I mm-hmm. do love that I do everything by myself, and I'm really excited to go on tour again this summer and and get back into that because I took a big break from that when I did beef, but for this show, it is really nice and comforting. I would say not not the shield, but just to share this with other people you know like it seems like people like it so far but if also it didn't wasn't received well like at least I got these friendships out of it and at least we're like all falling together and receiving like <laughs> bad feedback together but also we're receiving like great feedback together and that's really nice mm. you know yeah. you mentioned that kind of break do you ever fear when you kind of take a bit of a break away from the comedy that you lose a kind of rhythm and did it take a little while to get back into it yeah I was really scared because that's the longest break I've ever taken from doing stand-up and I get really worried about that muscle atrophying but I have been I have been doing it for so long now I started when I was 23 years old I'm 40 years old now so it was like oh and you know other veterans in comedy they take really long breaks mm. and so I, in fact, and I'm really like grateful that I did because I think it's been really good for my stand up. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for your time today, guys. Best luck with the release of the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.